saw a question on a Cubase discussion page I wanted to share with you. And the question was, the person had several hundred tracks of audio in their project, and they wanted to quickly determine which tracks were feeding a particular aux send. So let's say a reverb or delay channel. So there's an easy way to determine signal routing and signal flow within kind of the main channel view. So I'm gonna go to just my effects return for my reverb and click on the E button, which will open the edit channel settings. And once we do this at the top, we could actually see that we're gonna have left and right arrows. So the left arrows can indicate exactly which tracks are feeding this particular auxiliary send. The right arrows will indicate exactly where this is going to. So if I now wanted to just navigate to the stereo output, or again, I could come here, and these are all the things that are feeding my stereo output. So let's take a look at our revelation. And now we can see this is our effects return, and I wanna see exactly which tracks. So I could say, let's go to vocal. One, this track is feeding the revelation auxiliary send. So again, if I wanted to do different targets, we can see that we have multiple targets here. I could say this is going to, not only to a group, but also to two different auxiliary sends. So now if I wanted to edit the reverb send directly from there without having to close and open the mixer, we can very easily navigate. Now if I want to see what was feeding my delay, you could select different channels directly here, and you can see what channels are feeding cloner, what channels are feeding your delay. So instead of having to constantly open, close different channels, you could actually very effectively navigate using the left and right arrows found in the edit channel settings dialog box so that you can find things very quickly with fewer mouse clicks. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.